some spring in your step? Someone say spring! if I can find someone prepared to take you on. Just the essentials. Emergency marking pen. Lucky board rubber. Ah. The Beano Town Rest Home for overstressed teachers. The perfect place to get back to your rule-making homework setting best. No children allowed. Sounds perfect. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We need someone to look after the class and cope with Dennis. Oh. You just need to know his little tricks. Exactly, which gave me an idea. Listen. <laughs> no pets! You know the rules. Bet our new teacher won't. Settle down and say hello to your new teacher. What? Hello, everyone. I'm Mrs. Ed oh, just call me Mum like Dennis does. Unless he's had a nightmare and then it's Mummykins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was when I was three. <laughs> Priceless. Oh, this is bad, Dennis. What are you going to do? Well, a teacher's a teacher. She might be my mum, but she's still going to have to deal with the new teacher welcome pack. Oh, uh, look out, Miss. Uh, I mean, Mum. Uh, there's a. Uh... Don't worry, Walter. I've dealt with Dennis all my life. Uh, Curly, you're up. Uh, uh, flowers, Miss Mum. Oh. <laughs> See, I know all their tricks. Oh, Pie Face, get me some pencils, please. Oh, uh, okie doke, Miss Mum. No! Oh! oh! Did. Oh, it's it. At least let Nasha stay. He can't be home alone. Oh, what a good idea. We need a class pet. <laughs> right, gang, this means war. Right, safety goggles on, everyone. <laughs> now, knowing Dennis, he's probably put ink on my goggle rims, which is why I've swapped his for mine. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Creature when you need her? Ah, this is the life. Ah, good to see you settling in. I'm Mr Cheddar, former headmaster and now rest home manager. Oh, it feels just like being at school. The perfect school, one without any children. <laughs> one times two is two. Two times two is four. Three times two is six. Four times two is eight. Ah. All right, class, go and find some creepy crawlies. <laughs> if she wants creepy crawlies, let's see how she likes this. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. Oh. <laughs> nice try, but you'll never get one over on Mum. She's not human. She's like an anti-prank machine. Nash, nash. Ah, I know. And right, two, three, four. Quipe, two, three, four. Oh, it's nice not having to worry about turning my back on Dennis. Ah, Dennis, where? No, where? Oh. Fingers no. on lips. Not again. <laughs> we don't say the D word here. Half my guests are here because of... <gasps> Him. It's okay, everyone. Another hour of whiteboard yoga should calm us all down. Another hour? You're right. 
Let's make it two. And right, two, three, four. Goodbye, Miss Mum. Can I say it's been a pleasure? A real education. And you smell so nice, too. I can't take another day of this. Can you take another day of this? In fact, have you ever thought about doing this full time? Ah! We'll never menace again. We have to get Creature back. Where from? We don't know where she is. Nasha, find her scent. Nash. 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 Hmm? A home for overstressed teachers. Oh, it says no children allowed. Not a problem, Curly. Time for Plan D and G. We were ridiculous. Exactly. Just like real teachers. Where's Nasha? <coughs> Nash? He's my teacher's pet, of course. So we just stand here for 90 minutes? Of course not. That would be silly. <laughs> At half time, we change ends. Oh. <laughs> New arrivals! I should go and greet them. Carry on without me. Carry on what? What's the point without any children? Hang on. There's something very familiar about those teachers. Is this the rest home for overstressed teachers? <laughs> Um, he's so stressed, he sneezed his moustache off. Oh, happens all the time. Come on in. Ah. Take a seat in the staff room. Oh, this is a funny-looking staff room. Looks more like a confiscation cupboard. <laughs> That's because it is a confiscation cupboard, and you've been confiscated. Dopey disguises don't fool me. I've seen every trick in the book. Twice. Now sit nice and quietly while I call your parents. Oh. <laughs> oh, we'll never get Creature back. My mum's gonna teach us forever. <laughs> oh, you're looking grumpy, Denny Wenny. Do you need mummykins to burp you? <laughs> <laughs> no! Aha! I knew it! Just what we need. How many lines do we get for this, then, miss? None. I'm breaking you out, and I'm breaking out with you. Eh? A school without kids isn't perfect? It's boring! At least you lot keep me on my toes. Cool. Not so fast! No one's ever walked out on me. You need another three months' detention. I mean, rest. We'll see about that. <laughs> Miss? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Boys, let's take them down. Calm down! I can handle Dennis! <laughs> Charge here! I'm not afraid of you. There's only one boy ever got the better of me, and he... Hello, Mr. Cheddar. I'm here to pick up Dennis. Is right here! Ah! Great to see you, sir. It's been years. Wow! That's my patented two-man pie pump. The one you confiscated 20 years ago. I wonder if it still works. <laughs> it does still work. Fingers <laughs> on! <laughs> May have got a bit carried away. Just go! All of you! Dismissed! Oh. You heard him! Done way! Shame to leave this. Now Creature's back, Mum's off our case. Result! So let's give Creature a proper welcome back. With your dad's two-man pie pump. Correction! With my three-man and one dog pie pump. Genius wears a striped jumper. Oh, nice. But I'm confiscating that contraption for another 20 years. Oh, it's good to be back. It's good to have you back, miss. Last day of 
the summer holidays. This is going to be the best day ever. <laughs> what are we going to do, Dennis? <laughs> A. Break the world decibel record with the din makers. B. Put bubble bath in the swimming pool. Or C. Water bomb Walter with super sticky blackcurrant squash. My magnum opus is finished. What I did in my summer holidays. I devoted my entire summer to writing this essay. Option, option C. Option D. I mean, what, what you said. Nash, nash, nash. School homework? Nah. Summer holidays are for fun. <laughs> Not you as well. Ah, oh, sorry, Dennis. I've written a daily online blog about my holiday. I've gotten over a hundred hits on my site. <laughs> if I write down everything I've done this summer, it'll be a signed confession of all my pranks. <laughs> well, you are the prank master general, Dennis. Yeah, you're Lord Pranky. Dennis, calm down now. It's time to do your repair job on the Colonel's bench. <laughs> <laughs> Day of freedom! So it's your last chance to put things right. I'm off fishing. I can't help the Colonel. I I've got homework. Well, you better get moving then. Can't stop bee starting nursery today. Oh, how many's that now? That would be number 12. <laughs> B, it's the last one on the list. It's this nursery or none at all. But I just want one more day of fun. Then you'll just have to make it fun. Brilliant idea, Mum. <laughs> Dennis, reporting for duty. <laughs> Ready to take your punishment, cadet? If I must. That's <laughs> the spirit. Face the firing squad with a smile. Ah, here we are. <laughs> Double strength this time, and I want them all moved over there. Every last post. And I don't mean played on the bugle. Ha ha ha. It's a little military joke. No, uh, never mind. <laughs> yes, my bugling isn't what it used to be. <laughs> ah, yes, mate, it's a lovely big pile of sticks. <laughs> Extremely. Heavy sticks. Enthusiasts. Jane from Tippington Shelley. How many of these do you reckon you could nash? <laughs> now remember, be good. Hmm? <laughs> It'll be just fine. Please don't worry about B. It's not B I'm worried about. <laughs> Can't take the pace, eh? You'll think twice before you drive a tank into enemy territory again. Good job, Nasha. Now, what about the rest of them? <laughs> Uh, ammunition. Can't leave stuff on the pavement. It's a public health thingy. <clears throat> Keep it moving now. A nice neat pile. Hey, what's what in there? You! Ow! <laughs> you underestimate your adversary, young fellow, me lad. I've got my eye on you. And I'm awarding myself a medal for foiling petty treason. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, time for the Levenses, I think. Continue. Post haste. Ha ha ha! No, nothing. Uh, no sense of humour, the young. Mm. Oh. Dash, dash, dash. Roo, back. <laughs> right, team. Ready to pull? And. Uh oh. <laughs> Sergeant Tinkle, man down, man down. No. Thanks,
my school homework essay, My Summer of Good Deeds. What a thoughtful gesture. Ooh, ooh pink sprinkles. I've been inspired by your military heroism to help others. Pah, help yourself more like. Oh, thank you, Dennis. I will. <coughs> hard work makes you hungry, eh, Dennis? Angel Face, how about you do some hard work and help me with these? Oh, well, I'd love to, Dennis, but that wouldn't be helping you learn from your mistakes, would it? <coughs> ah, you're a credit to the community. Oh, I've had enough of this. It's time for Plan D and G. Uh, where is G, anyway? Nasha? Nasha? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I would like to thank my literary assistants, Bertie and Dudley. My homework! Don't worry, Walter. I haven't done mine either. to part 27 of your essay this afternoon. Well, Dennis, where is your homework? <laughs> My homework? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dennis, where is your homework? Oh, my homework. It's out there. <laughs> Are my missing timbers! Colonel, thank you so much for your donation. Uh, uh, donated by the Colonel? But, but this is an outrage! An outrage that we haven't celebrated our local hero sooner. Angelface spoke about you so movingly in her What I Did This Summer essay. Is there no end to this girl's kindness? No! No end. In fact, she's helping me fix your fence later, aren't you, Angel Face? Of course I am, Dennis. Well, in that case, Ted Shut, time to take up my post at that fort. Ha ha ha. Post, you see. Post? No, oh, forget it. Prepare to storm the battlements. Best first day of school ever! <laughs> Do that. You both all right? 
No, Dennis. We've both got Etsy. We've both got Etsy. I mean, we've both got Etsy. That's all right, Pyface. What he's trying to say is that we've both got Etsy. We've both got Etsy. Both got what? Oh, Curly. Pyface, didn't you get the letter? The Beano Town cold is so contagious that you must stay home. And you, dog? <laughs> Yes, you dog! You aren't allowed here. Pie face, curly dog, you must all leave the school grounds this instant. Yeah, I, I think I might be coming down with something. Inside. <sighs> quiet! Quiet, class, quiet! No more chattering, everyone! Quiet! Quiet! <laughs> Looks like quite a few pupils have the cold. Not I, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> I'm perfectly well. Walter, didn't you get the letter? <laughs> I don't have a cold, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> I am 100% healthy. <sighs> Class, if James has 37 counters in his left hand and 92 counters in his right hand, how many hands does he have? Walter. Oh, yes, it's jumping at the shape of the people. See a rainbow, should A good try, Walter. Next question. Dennis, what is the square root of a million times the square root of a billion? Uh, is it nine? Oh, hopeless, Dennis. Hopeless. <laughs> yeah, Dennis. Oh. Walter, call me crazy, but I think you may be ill. I'm having your parents pick you up. No, Walter. This could be the best school day ever. <laughs> Just a dessert for my lunch, Bren. How much? Not many children in, so they're free today. Oh. Well, in that case, uh, I'll only have 50 of them. Oh, no. Headmaster's orders. One dessert per child. But I'm the only... Strict instructions. Want your dessert, then? Uh, sure. Can I have a spoon? Yeah. Actually, forget the spoon. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, bonjour. I am the French exchange student, Pierre Le Bonbon. La dessert, please. All right, but you only get one. Merci. Hang on. Oh, guten hello. I am German exchange student Fritz von Munich. A dessert, please say thank you. Uh, are there many kids in that lunch line? Oh, ja, ja. Why don't you take a look? <laughs> yeah, I knew it. You're not getting one over on me. Oh, may have overdone it on dessert. Come on, bowler. Great, batsman, hit it. <laughs> At a boy, fielder, catch it. <laughs> Well done for getting him out, Dennis. Marvellous play. <sighs> Dennis, how come you're out already? Awful. Two laps round the field for you. <sighs> well, Dennis, poor Walter had to go home. Yes! Which means for the rest of the day, it's just you and me. No! Only kidding. Phew. Since all the other children have the cold, you're going to spend the rest of the day being taught by all the teachers in the school. At once. What? What's nine times ninety-nine? What's long and sticky? What is the meaning of life? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <a square? laughs> Oh, the worst day ever, Nasha. Teachers, teachers everywhere. It's not fair. Why can't I catch a cold like everyone else? <gasps> Actually, I think I can. <laughs> oh, 
light. It grows faint. Is that you, Mother? This awful cold. It's so horrible. So painful. And so very, very real. Goodbye, old friend. Dennis. Dennis, could you move away from the door? I have to pick up B. Mum, I have a cold. No, you want out of school, like when you said you had chicken pox. <laughs> Or when you said you were pregnant. Or when you said your arm fell off. Unless you really have a cold like your dad, don't waste my time. Dad has a cold? Yes, and apparently it's very infectious, so keep far, far away from him. Hmm. Hi, Dad! <laughs> oh, calm down, Dad. I'm here to look after you. Bacon sandwich? Oh, lovely, Dennis. How nice of you. <laughs> What's in this sandwich? Bacon, bread, tomato sauce. Oh! <laughs> Hang on. Oops. Water? Right, need a plan B. What does it Gran says? Hey, Dennis, you want to see me get a whole coconut into my mouth? Ow. No, not that. Keep out of the cold and wet or you will catch a cold, I bet. Now, watch me get this coconut into my mouth. <laughs> oh, what, what? Hmm. Fast, fast, fast! Nash, nash, nash! <laughs> what? I'm still fine? Oh, come on! <laughs> so, how will he be? Ah, he's fine. Nothing broken. Oh, are you sure? I definitely felt something snap. Maybe I should stay at home, rest the foot, get my strength back. No, you won't need to miss a day of school. <laughs> what? What kind of a doctor are you? Curly! Hey, Dennis! You OK? No, I'm not. Well, yes, I, I am. I... Ugh, back to school. Great, cos we're all going to the beach. What? Yeah, as everyone has just gotten over their colds, the teachers thought we should have a day out. Brilliant! I love school! <laughs> this is going to be the best day ever! Ah. Ah. Achoo! Oh, dear. The Beano Town cold. Best get you home. No, no, that sneeze was a fluke. <laughs> so was that one. <laughs> and that one. Mum, I'm well. <laughs> I feel great. <laughs> Honestly, Mum, I'm fine. I'm completely. <laughs> oh, Jenny.
frog. Plastic or rubber? Plastic. Oh, yes! Go, Team Menace! <laughs> Three large pepperonis, please. Deep filled, extra everything. <laughs> Pizza's off. Huh? Walter? Where's good old Brenda? Oh, good old Brenda will be absent for a few days. As a consequence, the headmaster has afforded me the opportunity to elevate nutritional standards at our beloved school. Huh? Pizza's off. Two bits of lettuce and a broad bean. I don't even like broad beans. Who does, Curly? Another pie crumb, anyone? Look at us. Scavenging in school bags for scraps. Oh, breadstick. Oh, oh, pencil. Kids like us need real food. And if we got to make with some serious menacing to get it, that's an added bonus. So there I was, helping the family of hedgehogs across the autobahn. But with my nutritionally balanced menu, pupils will benefit from an immediate improvement. Do your worst, B. along with a 9% reduction in their tendency to be irritating, smelly little oiks. Nine <laughs> percent? You are clever, Walter. <laughs> Come, sir, observe. <laughs> He threw up in my chef's hat, then he fired me. And goodness knows who will get to do tomorrow's school lunch. Hello, sir. My Auntie Beryl does catering. Nutritious, delicious dinners? Yeah, why not give her a call? Bye! Hello? Yes, this is Auntie Beryl's catering service. <laughs> Let's go serve up some fun. Lovely! Who's for pizza? <laughs> We're running out of mash. Hmm. Sir, sir, those dinner ladies, they're imposters. It's Dennis. What? Don't be so silly, Walter. It's his Auntie Beryl. But, sir, look. Ooh. 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 One of them is a dog. Oh, Walter. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Um... Nasha, Nasha, Nash? Ah, yes. Uh, Mrs. Um, Nasha, Nasha, Nash. Walter, lots of elderly ladies grow a few whiskers. Don't be so rude. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, seriously, I thought Walter's head was going to explode. Uh, hi, Auntie Beryl's catering here. Tomorrow's order is six bags of potatoes. Oh, did you hear that, Paul? A family reunion. 40 packs of fish fingers, 50 large pies. 150 very large. Make that 150 very large pies. And 227 sausages. Nash. Sorry, 228. Thank you. Hello. This is Auntie Beryl's catering again. I'd like to change tomorrow's lunch order. What? There's been a mistake. No mistake, doll. Two tons of ice cream in one unfeasibly giant scoop. Ta-da! 
<laughs> Excellent. Hello? Uh, uh, hello? Auntie Beryl, I've just had today's lunch order. Two tons of ice cream. Ice cream? No, 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 no ice cream here. Not a single scoop. I'm coming right over. And what's all this about? <gasps> Half a ton of live lobsters? My face. Diversion, if you please. Hello. Have you met Paul the potato? He's having his nap. <laughs> Get off me! <laughs> Dennis, please tell me we are not selling cans of raspberry rocket! <laughs> Stuff's full of sugar! Kids go hyper! Good hyper or bad hyper? Disaster hyper! Um, everyone, whatever you do, do not under any circumstances drink this! <laughs> Get rid of this stuff! OK, see ya! Curly, I didn't order any of those things! OK, I'm back! You get rid of it? Yeah! Where? Oh, I dumped it in that big bin with a picture of a lobster on it! Cool! Now, you what? Sorry to trouble you again, Auntie Beryl, but uh, the school food inspector has turned up. Uh, he wants to, um... What is it you want to do again? Inspect the school food, obviously. Everything is all right, isn't it? <laughs> yes! Everything's fine! <laughs> Curly, Nasha, you've got to delay this inspector guy! <laughs> OK. All we gotta do is calm everyone down and get rid of an army of hyper lobsters. Can't be that hard. <laughs> Listen up, you lot! Everybody gotta chill right now, or else. <laughs> well, she's not our usual dinner lady, but. <laughs> Herbal tea. Brilliant, eh? Now. We just need to... Sorry. All gone. And then there's Mrs. Nasher, Nasher, Nash. Lovely lady, but don't mention the beer. <laughs> Golly, hello, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Plan D and G it is. Just change suck to blow. This ought to cool everyone down. Water? Disguise? Rubbish. Timing? Perfect. Walter! I can explain! Oh, no, no, I can't. <laughs> Two lettuce leaves and a broad bean. Next! Great to have you back, Brenda. Distract Nasha is go. <coughs> Nasha's going to love this.
temptation, like the world's largest sausage, demands a big distraction. <laughs> My garden! Don't you worry, Walter. I told Dennis that if Nash so much as touches that giant sausage, it's the kennels for good. Oh, excellent policing. Indeed. Fun but fair. <laughs> Glorious! Oh, oh. I'll give this to you. Um, Walter? Sergeant Slipper, do something. Sorry, never said anything about normal-sized sausages, which are very, very tasty, I might add. Ah, thanks, Walter. I couldn't have come up with a better distraction myself. Oh, Dennis! You won't get away with it. Oh, oh, oh. As I was saying, you won't get away with the... Mm. <laughs> yes. huh. Hey, Butch, I just spoke to Chomp. They're sending their chop man. I can't believe it. Chomp, the coordinated headquarters for official meat products, are coming to judge my little old sausage. This little old sausage will put Beano Town on the map. <laughs> what? Uh, who, who elbows me? <gasps> Is everything okay? No. There's a massive bite! Yes, yes! Everything's fine! <laughs> oh, yes, that's... that's right. Everything is fine. I don't understand. Who could have gotten through the lasers? Wait a minute. This looks like an animal bite. Hmm. An agile animal with an insatiable appetite for sausages and the biggest jaws in Beano Town. But who? Nope, I've got nothing. Uh, it's Nasha, obviously. Wait a minute. I've got it. It's Nasha, of course. Ah, oh, give me strength. <laughs> Didn't get your fill last night, eh, Nasha? Huh? Yes. Hey, what are you doing? Nasha is under arrest for biting Butch's giant sausage. One bite? There's no way it was Nasha then. He would have eaten the whole thing. Good thing he didn't. That's a potentially record-breaking sausage. Nash! Don't worry, Nasha. We'll have you out in no time. Meet me at the treehouse and bring your best moustache. One bite. No way that was Nasha. There'd be nothing left. Not to mention he was with me the whole night. Which can only mean one thing. <gasps> Nasha has an evil twin, like Paul. Oh, Nasha's been set up. And we're going to find out by who. Curly, how much do you know about the coordinated headquarters for official meat products? Ah, sorry, Mr. Man. We're not open to the public yet. C-H-O-M-P, Inspector. That's quite a sausage. <laughs> Step this way, gentlemen. We have some paperwork to fill in. Psst. Take a swab. <laughs> Time for Operation Bog. But I went before we left home. That's B O G. Bust out, Nasha. Oh, phew. <laughs> And then, of course, there was that huge brat verse from Bavaria. Yes. 
underpants. Scramble! Uh-oh! Underpants! Oh, but I only bought two pairs. Come on, Piper, it's underpants! <laughs> Okay, Nasha, this is the scent of the record-breaking sausage. Find the missing piece, and we find the culprit. Um, Mr. Mayor, sir, this gentleman says he's from Chomp. Hear about the record. Lucky us, eh? Two in one day. Uh-oh. Come back here, you! <laughs> Uh-oh! Nasha! Unleash the fleas! <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Nasha! Now, we flee! Hello, hello, Slipper! Yeah, uh, it's me! Nasha got away! <laughs> <laughs> Walter! Of course it's Walter! It's always Walter! Hmm. Dennis! I thought that mutt of yours was locked up! Stop right there, Dennis! <laughs> oh, well done, Sergeant Slipper! Seize the giant sausage biter and his rascal of an owner immediately! Hang on! How does he know about the sausage being bitten? Oh. Yes, Walter. How do you know? <laughs> well, I mean, I just put two and two together. Uh, giant sausage <laughs> and Nasher on the loose. It's obvious. Run, Claudius. Huh? <laughs> hey, I just shampooed the carpet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nice try, Walter. What? It's not inconceivable that he acted alone, is it? Okay, fine. I may have helped a little. Sorry, Nasha. As for you, Claudius, you're off to the kennel for a night. But, but, there is no kennel for cats in Beano Town. I know! Who <laughs> <laughs> bad girl is a good this? <laughs> You can drop the act now. Uh, huh? Yeah, good thing they sent you out from HQ to help with the measuring. Not sure how I would have handled this on my own. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ooh, just a few millimetres off. Sorry, folks. Record remains. Well, I wanted a record. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Why? Why? Hang on. I'll give you a record. Got a stopwatch. Hello? <laughs> Unbelievable! We have a new giant sausage speed eating world record! Well done, Nash! Well done, Dennis! Your dog has put Beano Town on the map! <laughs> Oh, oh, that's disgusting. Mop boy, clean up on stage. <laughs>